If another moon passes, the children will be at risk. If they should fall ill... Na'ane is right. We go back as soon as we have what we came for. And we do not engage the enemy within scouting distance of the city. We'll be cautious, Chuan. Now we continue. Another few days due south, and we'll see her. Mercuria. I can't wait to see the city. If it's anything like you've described, April, it must be amazing. It's been a long time. Things change. Come on, let's move out. Okay, I'm confused. Okay. Oh, I just randomly got quality settings, I think. Nice. It'll be amazing if I can get Twitch partnership one day and have those quality settings all the time. I need to I need to find days to do more streams. <sighs> <laughs> but yes, uh, quality settings kick then. Uh, subject, question mark, question mark, question mark. What happened yesterday? You weren't home. Several people showed up and nobody knew where you were. Not even Olivia. I tried to call you several times but I couldn't get through. This is so not like you. Hope everything's okay. Talk to you later. Uh, that was from Carlita. Okay. I'm here. Newport, Venice. Now to find a fringe and this Charlie person. Maybe one of the locals could point me in the right direction. <laughs> Mace, where do I have the time? Okay. So this is an interesting little area. We can go for a taxi. Can't go up there. I like my hoodie. We're sorry with that brief interruption of Game of Thrones. We are now returning to our regularly scheduled broadcast. Okay, this is nice. I like this little area. It's interesting. Certainly gloomier than what we had before. Okay. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Piss off, sister. Better leave me be. I'm almost a Shakespearean by now, and I'll get my name soon. You piss off. You red little badger. <laughs> Bugger. Whatever. <laughs> One of those things. Um. I'm not sure I want to find out what's up there. Oh, can we go down? No. Alright, let's go this way. Badger isn't an insult around these parts. I know, right? Oh, lady, come, please. It was the first thing that came to mind. But yes, Badger's is my community name, isn't it? Nice and warm. I can feel my hands and toes again. Isn't it? As if I don't know. But yeah, like, you folks have said that you like to call yourself my Badger's. You, come by. Best store in Venice. Cheap. Top quality. He looks like he can Made sell pretty much anything. And, okay, he does. Are you talking to me? Yes, yes, you. You see anybody else around? Didn't think so, no. Welcome to Best Shop in Venice. Anything you're looking for, I provide. Except drugs. Competition too strong. I don't want any drugs. Look, I'm new to this place, and I'm wondering if you... No shit. You fit right in. Now, what can I get you? I'm not looking to buy anything right now. Well, this is shop. Place of business. No loitering. I'm not loitering. You called me over here. <sighs> details, details. So, you need any help? Uh, thank you for the follows, LTN Melvin and Matt Clark 87 Hope you aren't insinuating Squishy is comparable to that scummy kid. I would never. Squishy's the best. 
Let's talk about drugs! What did you mean about drugs and competition? Drug market's very dangerous in Venice. Venice very dangerous. Not a good place for young lady. Especially not pretty young lady. I don't plan on staying. Well, you hurry and do what you need to do. Then get out. Quickly. Okay. Uh, I think Dream Fall chapters will be based in Prague too. You're going to be here one way or the other at least. Yes! I'm looking for a place called The Fringe. Ah, The Fringe. So you know where it is? I certainly do. Well, could you tell me, please? <sighs> yes, yes. Keep pants on. Very close. Go to other side of Crossroads, find Via Milano, go through tunnel to Florence Square, and there you are. On the other side? Thanks. You are most welcome, and good luck. Uh, you can tell me about gangs too, can you? Hello. Ah, you're back. What you need now? I'm curious about, uh, gangs here. I haven't seen any gangs around. Oh, they're here. The biggest one, they are the Shakespeareans. Stupid names, stupid clothes, very, very big guns. But they're just kids. Make a few yuan selling drugs, and all of a sudden they big men. Crazy world. They say joining gang is best way to survive. I say joining gang is best way to get yourself killed. All right, see ya. Thank you. Next time you buy something. No. Um. That Chinese guy told me where to find the fringe. What was it again? The other side of the crossroads and through Via Milano to Florence Square. Well, we'll look around. Those English lit majors can't trust him. <laughs> it's true. I can see the point of using these barrels now. Yeah, so this is a fairly dingy place. Just seeing if there's any little areas I can go into. Nice and warm. Lots of barrels. Isn't there a place where these people can sleep and eat? Night, Pepper Ann. I've nothing left to live for. I used to own an art gallery here in Venice. <laughs> now look at me. I don't talk to outsiders. Nice and warm. Girls open girls. Um, what's that piece of box? Can't go in there, nothing there. It's locked. Of course. No answer. Uh, of course. Uh, what's that over there? I don't know, I'll go back to it. Oh, maybe I won't. Right, back through this way then. Can't get past there. Can't get down there. Alright, I guess we're going back over this way. <laughs> Doors, your greatest enemies return. Hate doors. You shouldn't be listening in on people's private conversations, lady. Go back to whatever mall you crawled out of and leave us be. Excuse me. Uh, I will leaving too. Have a great rest stream now, everyone. Uh, see you, call me hopeless. A door attack to Josh? You'd better get out of here before anybody sees you, lady. You look like you have money. Miss Cash now hates Jim Morrison. 
Doors hit me today. They're getting careless and aggressive. A door hit you too, see? I, I enjoy the fact that it was a, a door that ended my Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines as well. Like, it had to be. Had to be a door, didn't it? My downfall. Oh, there's the fringe. Oh, nothing was happening there, but uh. Yeah? Hello, is Charlie there, please? Who is this? My name's Zoe. I'm a friend of Reza. I'm looking for him. I think he might have been here. I don't know anybody named Reza. Sorry. Goodbye. Wait. He's a reporter. Goes by the name Jericho. <sighs> All right. Come on in. Night, Avic. Thanks for coming by. Okay. Yes, can I help you? So this is a fringe. I'm looking for Charlie. He's down there past the bar. This Thank is a you. nice area. Nice little whatever. place. <laughs> this is a nice little place. And then she goes, whatever. Well, it's a nice looking place, but your manners could use some work. I will rate you three out of five on TripAdvisor. Bonsai tree. I like that whole Japanese theme they've got going on here. They don't serve any cheap stuff here, that's for sure. Do they have wine? Scented. Vanilla and champagne. Right, let's chat. That must be Charlie. Hey, Chris of Albion. Excuse me, are you Charlie? Yeah. Zoe, right? You said you're a friend of Jericho's? That's right. Has he been here? How do you know Jericho? We go way back. If you're such good friends, why do you need to track them down? Can't you just call them? It's a long story. Jericho's investigating a story, and he's gone subterranean. His mobile's off. He may be in danger. I need to find him. Look, Charlie, he left me a message with your name in it. It's the only clue I have to go on. All right. I believe you. I spoke with Jericho a couple of days ago. He called me, asked me some questions. I answered them. That's all. I really didn't want to get mixed up in anything. I have a business to run, and my customers don't like publicity. Sorry, girl. I wish I could help, but that's everything I know. We'll bargain with him. If you have any information, it, it would be worth a lot to me. Is that so? Like what? Money? Or are you offering me something else? Like yourself? Uh, I... I'm not... You don't need to answer that, girl. I get it. You must love this guy a lot. That's all I needed to know. Look, your friend, he was here last night. He said some things shouldn't cross the wire. He wanted to know about this place I used to live in. A place called the Border House. The Border House? It was a boarding house for students, run by an English lady. Fiona. That's where Jericho got my name from. The place has been turned into a hotel now. The Victory Hotel. Shady place. Jericho wanted to know everything about the building. Entrances, exits, floor plans, the works. He didn't tell me, and I didn't ask, but my guess is he was planning to break into the place. Why? There are stories. They say the place isn't really a hotel, but some kind of front for... I don't know, and I don't want to know. Like I said, there are stories. What kind of stories? Look, I get all sorts in here. I hear things. But if I start shooting my mouth off, I get burned. I lose my customers. I lose my business. Hell, with some of the people that come in here to party, I could lose a lot more than that. So don't get me wrong. I would love to help you. But like I told your friend, I can't say much more than that. I understand. So... Jericho was interested in the layout of that place. What did you call it? The Border House. Victory Hotel. Yeah. I told him there are canals running underneath the building and that there's a backyard. Since they drain the water, you can use the canals to get around. There might be a way into the building from the back. Right. And um, Jericho, he went there last night. I honestly couldn't tell you, girl. We spoke, he left, haven't heard from him since. Okay, well, I guess that's a start. 
Victory Hotel. <clears throat> Do you own this place? Nah, I just run it. I used to own it, though. Bought it cheaply right after the collapse, hoping business would pick up again. It never did. I managed to sell it eventually, and the new owners hired me back to manage it. With the new capital, we turned the business around. We're one of the hottest places to go in Newport right now. We get VIPs from around the world. They scram in, party, leave the next morning. Funny thing is, ten years ago, this was a popular student hangout, the Fringe Cafe. I worked here as a bartender. This neighborhood, Venice, it was a great place to live. So what happened we to We used it? to think it was the center of the world. And it was, for a while. Different world, different times. The collapse changed a lot of things. Hell, it changed everything. Right. Uh, okay, no, I need to know more. Uh, <laughs> Have you lived in Venice all your life? Feels like that sometimes, but no. I came here for school when I was 19. The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts. It was famous. Still is, but uh, for very different reasons. Back then, it was the best art school in the city. After the collapse, I lived uptown for a while. I needed to get as far away from Venice as I possibly could. Place has gone to hell the past decade, even more so than the rest of Newport. I don't live here. No one lives here, not if they have a choice. So where did Charlie study at the Venice Academy of the Visual Arts? <laughs> I like how I'm just like probing him on his life now. What did you study at the Academy? <laughs> I'll tell you if you promise not to laugh. I studied dance. Like a cat. You did? I was a kid. I believed that with enough passion, I could do anything I wanted. I had such faith in myself and in the world. But faith and passion alone will only carry you so far before reality sets in. I hung in there for a while, but money was tight. I had to drop out and find a job. When that happens, you got to face up to the facts. Your life ain't gonna turn out the way you hoped it would. And your dreams, they don't matter so much anymore. You lose faith, but life goes on. Besides, look at where it got me in the end. I've done well for myself. I'm a happy man. Giving up on your dreams isn't necessarily such a bad thing. You can dance if you want to. So I feel like the Waka Kai reference, only very few people in this chat would actually understand that reference. Uh, because I have a whole bunch of new viewers now. <laughs> Venice is a lot like the East End of Glasgow. Just a bit. Also, I just banged my elbow off the desk. Um, okay, you know what? Well, let's talk more about the Victory Hotel then. Where is the Victory Hotel? It's on a street called The Brink. Walk to the other side of the crossroads, past the Chinaman store, you get to a bridge called the Rialto. I see that. Cross the yeah. Rialto to get to Marco Polo. Marco Polo will take you to the brink. Victory Hotel's on the end of the brink. Big gray building, wooden door, bench out front. I think there's some scaffolding still left from the construction work. That might help you get down into the canals, but I haven't been around there in a while. Here the Waka Kai is all the rage. The ladies swoon at the mere sight. Twenty minutes of Waka Kaiing. Um, yeah, the reference is when I was in Canada, I had a guy that was hitting on me for like 20 minutes by dancing for me and he would not stop. He was talking at me and he was just like, whack a guy and dancing and I'm just sort of standing there like, uh-huh, sure. <laughs> um, okay, thanks. Thanks, Charlie. I appreciate all your help. You're welcome, girl. Let me know if you find your friend, all right? Are we friends now? That'd be nice. I need more friends. I like having friends. So no one told your life was gonna be this way. Rez is okay, thank God. It appears that he was planning to break into a place called the Victory Hotel. That was last night, but it's the only clue I have to go on. I have to follow him. He could still be there. Right. I thought I'd check to see if we can get in toilets. <laughs> Was it a man or a peacock? <laughs> Dancing for 20 minutes, being aggressive, a huge bloom of feathers coming from his back. No, it, it was a man. 
I would actually have like continued to stare at a peacock if it was. I would be so impressed. I would be like, wow, this is like amazing. The peacock is dancing for me. Please keep dancing, peacock. Right, so they said over the bridge and then there's like scaffolding and things. So we're going back this way. Hey Norwegian Viking. Right, um, past, 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 uh, cross the Rialto to get to the Marco Polo, we'll take you to the Brink, Victory Hotel's in the end of the Brink, big grey building, wooden door. Oh, what's that? I don't know what it is. Um, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Still locked. What was I expecting? A miracle. No answer. I believe in miracles. Um. That might help you down into the canals. Big grey building, wooden door, bench out front. Yes, yeah, so that's the place. Um, construction work. Go. When I find you, Reza, I'm giving you a big hug. And then you're buying me new shoes and pants. And a very big cup of hot coffee. Yes. Yes, indeed. Maybe a bottle of wine too. Yes, Rick. Is a random song outbreak something you picked up from EE or have you always done it? I've always done it. <laughs> it's a digital padlock. It looks pretty new. I've always I've always said, Peter Taylor, that I would a back like door. That's probably where Ressa got in. I would like to just live in a musical. Um that was sort of what I wanted for my birthday this year actually. Everyone to sing songs for me. <laughs> Good night, hi, Speedy. Like, there's any other alternative ways, is there? Wait, can I use my phone on it? Hey, it's me. I found out where Reza was last night. A place called the Victory Hotel. But I need your help. Sure. What do you need? Don't freak out. I need to disable a padlock. I won't ask. What does it look like? Black, nondescript, blue light, a small display, your standard padlock. No keypad, so I'm guessing it only works with a key. Can I hack it? Sorry, sweetie. Those things aren't usually wired. They operate on short-range frequencies. You need to get close, and you need a lockpick. What kind of lockpick? 
Anything reasonably modern should be able to take care of it, unless it's really heavy-duty stuff. I don't think it is. It's just a padlock on a fence. Any lockpick will do, as long as it's got multiple frequencies and a universal interface. Most do. I'll try and find one. Thanks, Liv. Where the heck can I find a lockpick? Um... Hmm. I think I'm just going to find a lockpick lying about, right? Maybe go back to um a little shop thing, see if he sells any. Who started using it? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Uh, you're EE. -E. I have no idea. I just speak the way I speak. <laughs> I don't think E or I like copied each other. Wow, There's my voice went really high pitched. Up window. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think that E or I copied each other. There's a metal bar on the side. It looks like it's connected to the wheel. <laughs> There's a metal bar on the side. It must okay. have been left behind okay. after a construction okay. job. Okay. It's just a container. So, can I push it or climb it? I can push it over there then, right? Okay. Down. Push. I just noticed that you both have said it a few times. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe subconsciously. It's just, I think I've said that quite a few times, like, over the years. <laughs> right. I assume I want this to be here. And jump up. This window probably leads into the hotel basement. Okay, but I can't. And get into it. I need something to smash it. Smash it? Smash it. Um. Okay, I'm going to go back to that shop, see if I can buy a lockpick, though I doubt it. Uh, how do I get back up? This way. I mean, I didn't think I had anything to smash it. Enjoy D and D trail. Uh, a ten pound tip from Mighty Rick One. Consider this tech support after the laptop started struggling. Thank you so much for the tip. So, uh, yeah, actually, my laptop has been struggling, but my main issue at the moment is my computer, like, a couple of hours before this stream, had apparently blue screened again. So that's, like, twice in a week. Um, I have no idea what's causing it. I, I think right now it's a driver problem um, with, like, the, the graphics driver. It, it seems that Windows is, like, automatically updating, even though I should have had that switched off. Because it's twi like the exact same day, basically, um, in a week that it's happened. Like it happened like a Sunday or something, and then it happened last Sunday. But I never noticed until the Monday. Um, yeah, it's frustrating. Hopefully, I can fix it and eventually get upgrades soon. Fingers crossed. But man, I was so I was so stressing before the stream. I'm like, oh my god, please computer, I need I need you to work. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> right, shop. This way. I'm gonna be so annoyed if I backtracked all this way and that's not where I'm supposed to go. Hello again. Hi. Surprise, surprise, she's back. So you need something? Guess who's back? 
Back again. Shady's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? I've created a monster because nobody wants to see Martian or the Shady M Chop liver. I forget the rest of the lyrics. I'm pretty sure I got it wrong. Lock I pick. need to pick a padlock. Ooh, very exciting. Breaking into private property. Very good. Very good. No explanation needed. I'm not tearing anyone. But sorry, can't help you. Also out of lockpicks. I thought you said you can provide anything, except for drugs. Ha! You very funny girl! I like you! Okay, okay. I might have something in stock for you. It's refurbished, but good as new. In fact, better than new. Can pick most locks made in past 15 years. I'll take it. How much? Way, way. May look like charitable old fool, but this not cheap. Only one I got. You good customer, but lockpick more valuable than money in Venice. So you have something in stock, but you don't want to sell it to me. Thanks for nothing. Not so fast. I like you. You got spirit. I want to help. Maybe we can make trade? I don't have anything to trade. All I have is my mobile. No mobile. I got too many already. Cheap. Made in China. Top quality. So what do you want to trade? Please, help me out here. Mobile not very interesting. But my customers, they paranoid. They like to be invisible. If I could make mobiles invisible... Like some kind of cloak for mobiles? Yes, yes. That could be worth a lot to me. Definitely worth trading away last lockpick. The problem is if I trade this, that means I can no longer use it, right? But then it's not like I used it before. Zoe, is that you? Did you find a lockpick? Sort of, but I need your help. Sure, sweetie. What do you need? I'm trying to buy a lockpick from this merchant, but he doesn't want money. He wants software. Should we really be trading software, software like this? What does he want? That seems weird. Remember that cloak you gave me? Could I get a copy of that which would work on other mobiles? Not the same one. I wouldn't give that to just anyone. Yeah. But I have another software cloak. It's not as powerful as yours, but it's good stuff. That's I'm fair. I'm it to you as we speak. I'm sure he'll be ready to do business when he sees this thing. It's pretty neat. I got it. Thanks, Liv. You're the best. You're not wrong, sweetie. Good luck, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Okay. You back already? Got something to trade? Something good? I've got just what you need. It's a small program for your mobile. For any mobile. It disguises the phone and makes it hard for the eye in the sky to track it. Interesting. Something like that is very hard to find. Show me. I'll transfer it over. Very nice, very nice. This is some good stuff. Where you get this? I never seen nothing like this before. This will make my customers very happy. Good. So we have a deal? Yes, yes, we have a deal. Here is lockpick for you. Please to do business. Very please. Sweet. We have a lockpick now. Let's go. You buy something now? Best prices. Guaranteed. You, come by. Best store in Venice. Cheap. We don't have an app store in the future, Kappa. <laughs> right, this way. And this way. I wonder why I moved that bin over then. If that was an alternate way, I could have got in. Hmm. Okay, down I go. <laughs> I know, right, Rick? Oops.
Okay. Open. Oh wait, no, no, wait, wait. I need to use the lockpick. Whoops. No. Lockpick. Use. Oh. Uh. Oh. 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 Okay. Miss Cash now forgot to get yellow fever, so she had to jump in the water a second time. Okay, so we have puzzle. And I'm guessing I want everything to match up here. Oh god, puzzles can be my downfall. Damn it. <laughs> right. I love puzzle games, but man, doing them on stream is the quickest way to make me feel like an idiot. There's no matching one for that. That's <laughs> easy and least Rick made me see it. <laughs> yeah, there is no matching one for that. What the fuck are you playing at game? Wait, unless, unless, unless I take that over there. But then how do I... But I want... That up there too. Right, um... I have to not look at chat. Uh... Hey, Narcoleptic9. But it would suck doing it in front of others, yeah. It's, this is usually where you start to feel incompetent in front of people. You're like, damn it. <laughs> Even simple things just makes my brain go, derp. Um... So we want two of these, basically. Hold on, I need to bring you over. Wait. I probably fucked this right up. <laughs> yeah, I fucked that up the way I've done it. Okay, um. Give up and return. It should reset the puzzle. No, I'm sticking to it. that over there. Yeah, stream delay will make this hard um, for people to give me tips. There we go. Did 
Thank you for the follow, S Dark Eight. God, dog. The dog seems used to the train. It didn't even bat an eyelid, despite the racket. Is the dog gonna attack me? Hey, doggy. The dog's sleeping. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, good idea. No doggy, no doggy, no doggy, bad doggy. I don't want to have to beat the fuck out of you, doggy. Oh fuck, I'm going to have to beat you, aren't I? I don't want to attack the dog. Do I have to? I mean, I'm not in, like, combat. You defeated a door. <laughs> um. It's riled up, but it doesn't seem very interesting okay. following me. Maybe it'll calm down again in a little while. See you in Archaleptic Nine. Okay, bye, doggy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go, go lie down. Go lie down. Be a good doggy. Be a good doggy. Go, go lie down. Go lie down. Oh, sorry, Peter Van Droen. I didn't mean to upset the key. Um, okay, you know what? Let's just go down the ladder where it can't see me. Go lie down, doggy. It's okay. Okay, let's go back up the ladder. Looks like it's gone. So, sneak. It won't budge. Sorry again, Peter Van Droen. Snake while the train is coming by. Well, it turns out I can't get through that door anyway, so... I'll need to find an alternate way to go. Right. Sorry, Matt Clark. Okay, so I can't get through that door. There's like a little hot area. Do it. Right, back up. Just be patient, wait in the train. <laughs> All the sorries. Come on, train. I, I mean, I was hoping to shut the door, but sure. Can I not shut the door? Well, I have an axe. So I'm guessing I can axe the door down. OK, 
Okay, wait in the train again. I'm not axing the dog. Question. Axe the window near the bins. That makes sense. Right. I'd be as well rushing now, but yeah, we'll sneak. I've adjusted to sneak. Ah, fuck, no, I haven't. <laughs> I'm too impatient. <laughs> Saving game. Okay, uh, back up here. Drop the axe inside. It's okay, we'll be going out anyway. It's just a bunch of filthy rags. Can we take them? Yes, we can. It's a rusty old can. There's nothing in this one. It's empty. It's a metal can. It smells like petrol. Are we really just sniffing cans now? There's nothing in this one. It's empty. I don't smell anything, but there's definitely something inside. Water, maybe. I don't know what that's for. We'll find out. We'll find out. Um. Oh, it's just the axe handle. The handle broke off when the axe fell through the window. Ah. That's not too good. Um. So what do I want to do here? Okay, I get it. It's like a lighter. No. Can I combine that with, like, the rag? To make a torch? Nice, okay. No. Where- Huh? Where the fuck my torch go? Uh... Excuse you! Okay, I get it. It's like a lighter. Is that not quick enough? Forgot the petrol. Oh yeah, one of them is petrol, right? Oh. No! Urgh. What does the right mouse blot- blotten? Blotten! <laughs> Button bloody do. Which one was the petrol? That one's got petrol in it, I think. It smells like petrol. Right. No, what year is this here? Go. 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 We look shocked. No wonder. There's blood. Or red paint. Or strawberry jam. Gotta look on the bright side. Gotta be optimistic. Gotta be positive. My god, that's... 
Reza's lighter. You gotta be positive. Keep your catch up, exactly, Finn. Zoe. That girl, is she here? Find April Ryan. Save her. Find April Ryan. Save her. She... She just vanished. The screen said 201. That must be the room number. I think... I think she wants me to go open that closet in room 201. Is that what brought Reza here? That's creepy. Okay. Uh, no. Back. How do I go back? I want out. There we go. Space bar. That girl again. This is not viral marketing, that's for sure. She's talking to me. I don't know who's doing it or how, but someone's definitely trying to tell me something. The girl's pointing towards the wardrobe in room 201. What's in there? I hope Rez is not. But he's okay. I don't have a choice. I have to go to room 201. Blood. God, I hope it's not... What did I say? Be optimistic. Always look on the bright side of life. Da 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 How do I get in there though? It's some sort of security system. Looks like it controls the building's surveillance cameras. That's just the cameras, right? So that doesn't get me through that door. Solid. I don't think it's possible to break through this one. It looks brand new too. Like it's been installed recently. Why are there cameras in all the bedrooms? That is also a good point. <laughs> right, let's look at the surveillance again. Yeah, this isn't helping me get through there. Can I, like, use my phone? Oh, okay. Um, no, that's not right. Uh, fuck. Nuts. Huh? Uh, fuck. Panic. No. No panic. No panic. Panic bad. Okay. No panic. Square. Circle. Square. Square with a circle inside it. Square with a circle inside it. Square with a circle inside it. Square with a Fuck is a square of it. There we go. Uh, pointing arrow up. No, that one. Uh, Wi-Fi symbol. <laughs> Something that looks like a power icon. I feel like I'm suddenly in like an old game show. <laughs> that was easy. Open. Thanks to Liv's illegal lock defeating software. Eyes twitching. <laughs> oh, hello. Just you? Am I gonna have to get in a fight? You have a lot of pizza. You have a lot of pizza. Old game show and not even a cuddly toy. Someone's rehydrating and heating a pizza. Looks like there's still a bit left on the clock before it's done. If I reprogram the timer, I can make the alarm go off almost immediately. Ah, yeah. Pizza's done. Very good. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Look at my-
my face! Can I, like, stealth attack? He's checking out his pizza. Fuck, he's coming. He won't notice me here. He won't notice me here. Boy. Yeah. Anyone there? No. Oi, you right there? I'm here for a job in Haru. Hello, I'm uh, here to apply for that job. A job? I didn't know we were hiring. I'll have to check with me, uh, with the manager. Ah, oh, mate, wait a minute. We're not hiring. Who told you we'd be hiring? It was in the, uh, I saw the, uh, the ad, ad. Yeah. Maybe I could talk to the manager in it. You have a hearing problem. I told you, we're not hiring. Now I'm taking you to the door, then you'll Kid. bugger off, nice and quiet-like. I can't leave. I have a job what interview. Nice and quiet-like. Now get stuffed, or I'll chuck you up the door myself. Oh, okay. Oh, skew! Oh, you freaking! Don't aggro now. Ha, yeah, ha, ha. Yeah, watch me. Christ, you kick like a bloody mule! Yeah, I'm gonna die. Don't be getting aggro now. Oh, you kick like a bloody mule. Cheers. Oh, fucking Someone's rehydrating and heating a pizza. Looks like there's still a bit left on the clock before it's done. If I reprogram the timer, I can make the alarm go off almost immediately. I think it did it, yeah. Ah, yeah. Pizza's done. Feed income. Sometimes all you can see is fucking fuck. Pretty much. I have a way with words. Um. Not that way. Shitting shit also works, yeah. She's connected to one of those things I saw in Reza's apartment. What is it doing to her? What's all this equipment for? What is that thing? They must be testing it on these people. That's probably what this place is for. It's not a hotel. It's a laboratory. No. I need to focus on finding Reza. What's all this equipment for? 201. Right. This is it. The room the little girl was in. Is this person going to aggro me? Hello? Don't mind me. 201. I can't get in there. Hello? She looks like she's in her own world. Okay. Um, so I can't use my lockpick here, can I? 
What about my phone? Nope. How do I get in here then? Right, come back to that. Oh shit! Shit, move! I don't know where the fuck I'm going! Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Well, well. There you are. You. You're leaving. One way or the other. One way or another. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. One way or another. You You're motherfucker. Leaving. One way or the other. God damn you. Yeah. Don't be getting aggro now. Someone's rehydrating yep, the pizza. pizza. Uh huh. Yep. Do the thing. Pizza. Then do the. It's not done. I yet. know it's not done yet. That's why I wanted you to do the thing to it. If I reprogram the timer, I can make the alarm go off almost immediately. Right. How best to approach that? Ah yeah. Pizza's done. Bad income. <laughs> I think those were actually the original lyrics to that song, Kappa. I mean, admittedly, I rhymed it well. Come the fuck on. Up here. Okay, so we know there's a weird face thing. Um. 201. But this I is it. Can't get in here. The room the little girl was in. Can I hide in the bathroom stall? Toilet stall? Whatever. Welcome back, Onbo. Can't use it to get in there. Window handle. Ah! No! Leave me alone, creepy girl! Right, uh, shit. Fuck. Where do I hide? I would have thought that toilet stall, but apparently not. I don't know if this guy's gonna come here. And I'll have to attack him. And we're in, like, such a small area. Night, Matt Clark. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Don't you dare fucking come in here. Okay. I took the handle off. Sorry, that was loud. He's gonna see me. Fuck. I have no idea how to do it. <laughs> I have no idea how to get past him.
Okay, what do I want to do with this thing? Can I use it in one of the doors? Who doesn't go up here? But what can I combine it with? Lighter? <laughs> no. Listen, I'm sorry, I know my audio will be clipping when I scream. This is this is a problem with my audio levels. If I turn my microphone down, people barely hear me. I have it up about this level. The moment I scream my audio clips, I what I really need to do is get like a better audio setup, like an XLR mic or something, so I can run a compressor and stuff like that. Save people's ears. Um Fuck, how do I get through there? <laughs> it's locked. I could tell that much. Um Okay. Is the guy still wondering though? Sorry. Pretty sure you need to climb through a window. This window though? Like how do I I took the handle off. I, I know the handle's off, so where do I go from there? Do I attach it again? Okay, so there's a, a window somewhere I need to go through, according to Mace. Ah! Sorry. I should probably, when he's walking around there, try to get back. Alright, I need to wait till he comes back round. And then make a run for it. Right. Come on, dude. I'll be waiting. Or maybe I could have just went now. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. <laughs> okay, seriously, I probably could have went there. I need to time. Time him when he walks. How soon after does he come? He's actually going a lot longer when he's that direction instead of the, the whatever direction he comes around there. <laughs> I'm actually like trying to peek around my, myself. Hello, you're in my way. Move. You see nothing. Go. Seriously, you're going to give my hiding spot away. I know I'm hiding in plain sight, but that's not the point. Is he coming or not? What's the bet the moment I move out here he's going to start coming back round? And then I'll scream again. Is that a sound of staircase? Ah, he's coming. Right, so actually my best bet is to wait until he started heading back that way again then, right? Right, that's what I'm going to try anyway. And then, I don't know, use the window handle somewhere. Uh, 
Hello. I'm stealthy. You're messing a room. Oh my god, stealth is such a slow walk. Okay. Yeah. No. <sighs> She's connected to that same device the girl in Reza's apartment was connected to. Strange. Oi! Anyone there? No. Oi, you right there? Good afternoon. This is the Victory Hotel, right? Damn it. I need a room. I'll be staying until Tuesday. Do you serve breakfast? Oh, yeah. G'day. Um, sorry, darling, but this ain't no... Uh... Oh, right -o. yeah. The Victory Hotel. That's what the door says. Vacancies, eh? Uh... Everywhere else is fully booked, and I really need a room. Do you have anything with a bathtub? Oh, we might have something on the... Oh, wait a minute. How'd you get in here? I didn't hear the buzzer. Or did I? I came in through the basement. Now, don't get smart with me, darling. No one comes in the basement. We've closed that up real tight-like. Still, basement. What's that setup you got down there? What's that for? You're not looking for a place to stay, are you? You broke in. What are you snooping around for, eh? Oh, yeah. My ass is toast if Marcus hears about this. Who's Marcus? Maybe I should just... Shut it! I'm trying to think here. With all due respect, that could take a while. In the meantime, why don't I just continue on my way and you can forget you ever saw me? I'll forget I ever met you, all right. After I send you swimming in the nearest canal... Well, you're leaving one way or the other. That wasn't quite what I had in mind for persuasion. Don't be getting aggro now. Okay, so I maybe I should have lied there. Vacancies and then lie. Fuck, I may as well let him catch me next time. Right, reload. Right, hello, dude. Anyone there? Yes, let's talk. Um, sure, vacancies. I need vacancies. I'm here for a vacancy. Every uh, lie. I buzzed and someone let me in. Isn't this the reception? I like it. It's uh, rustic. I didn't need a buzzer. Maybe someone. Bloody oh, Marcus will throw a right fit. I'll be up shit creek for crying out loud. Okay, so we can be calm or aggressive. Oh fuck, what's the best way to approach this? Listen, I buzzed. The door opened, now I want a room. What? We don't have any... No rooms available, I'm afraid. You know, holiday season? Which holiday? Christmas was four weeks ago. Oh yeah, well, long-term guests stay right through Chrissy and into the new year. So get stuffed. I'm not leaving. <sighs> We're going to fight then, aren't we? I told you to get stuffed. Guess I have to toss you up myself then. Come to Waza. I swear to God, I hate you. You're the worst person ever in this game. I was blocking you. Don't be getting aggro now. Right. We'll approach it calmly. Oi. Hello, yep. Uh huh, yep. Uh, yep, vacancies, yep, uh huh, yep, uh huh, uh, lie, mm hmm, mm hmm. Listen, I don't want any drama. I just want a room, something with a view. Ah, yeah, a room. Uh, with us being a hotel and all. 
Maybe, uh, well, I don't think there's anything available at the moment. Okay. Maybe I could just have a look around. Check out the rooms this and the facilities. One to do. You know, scope out the place. Nah, nah, nah. Sorry, darling. But I can't let you wander around here alone. Wouldn't be minding my job, would I? We don't have any vacancies. We're a very popular hotel. Yeah, sorry. I'll have to show you out. No, mm. I'm not leaving. We're going to fake it, aren't we? Get smart with me, darling. No. Ah. I hate your guts. Don't you... be getting aggro now. Everything else about you. I hate your stupid Hawaiian t-shirt. I hate your... Don't be getting aggro now. <sighs> Everything about you. Hit your stupid face. Yeah. You, you and your stupid face. One way or the other. Yeah. Don't be getting aggro Most now. Most of all, hate the way I don't hate you even That's a little bit. Not I even all. Hurry. He could wake up again at any moment. I'd better hurry. He could wake up again at any moment. I don't think I hurt him. Badly. <sighs> Look, I got him told. <laughs> 201. This is it. The room the little girl was in. I don't have much time. So there's a window I need to go through, right? If only I had a handle for the window. I could probably open it. Gosh, if only I had a handle. <laughs> Look, I had enough of his shit by that point. <laughs> right. Where do I go from here? This isn't 201, right? What's all this equipment for? Looks like medical equipment. Okay. We'll go in sneaky mode. Eee. Eek. Eek, 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 eek. Is he gonna aggro me? Wow, it's amazing that the toilet stall door is uh, exactly the same as downstairs. <laughs> oh, Peter Taylor. How he can sleep on that filthy sheet is beyond me. But then he doesn't look too clean himself. I, I didn't mean to take your shirt. Hey, uh, not your shirt, your. your oh, oh. The, the thing that I took. Sheet. He, he looks like he's on Help drugs. Me. I'm sorry, but you fell on the mattress, so it's okay. Open. 302. It's fine. <laughs> mm. 
am I going from here? An old radiator. They probably use plasma heating elements in the rooms now. Another window. Okay, well, let's try this door first. No, okay. Oh, am I just looking? So I can't do anything. Okay. Wait, I have a sh No, I didn't take a sheet. What did I take? Did I really just take nothing from him? I just beat him for no apparent reason. Oh, now I've got a sheet. Okay. Can I use the sheet here? No. I don't know, my thinking was climb out the window or something. No. The sheet. No. No. Apparently not. Okay. Did I go back out this window? But then there's no ladder, right? But... Set the sheet and fire? <laughs> no. Right, back through here. Radiator. Uh, I'll give that a try. Oops, that's a wall. No, is that the arm? My shorts are absolutely awesome. Thank you, Rudy. I'm glad people love the shorts. An old radiator. They probably use plasma heating elements in the rooms now. Mm. Locked. Right. 305. Guess the lock pack's not, just go not going to work in any of those doors either. There's nothing in the toilets in this, right? Wait, wait. Yes, there is. A filthy towel. Which I can combine with a sheet to make a makeshift rope. Just burn the place down and be done with it. <laughs> Um, but where do I use the rope? Do I use it at this window or... Wait, can I... Okay. Let's go out here. See, I keep thinking I can go along that way. I'm getting the windows confused. Don't use it with the... Oh, wait. Yeah. Right. Tie it to the radiator, then. Back here. Right. Makeshift rope. An old radiator. Oh, okay. I, I see it's a radiator. Um, what I want is the rope. An old no. radiator. Alright, just use the window then. Okay. And then we're down here, so this is where we were looking, and I want to go through this window. That's room 201. The one the little girl was in. It looks like someone lives there. This is creepy. Let's do it.
swear to God, if something jumps out at me from this damn wardrobe, I will not be The pleased. little girl. She was pointing at that closet. What could it possibly mean? That, huh? It's an old videograph. Is that... Charlie? That is Charlie. And those two girls? Maybe this used to be Charlie's room. But why did the little girl point to his closet? What's his connection to all of this? Shit! What the fuck are you doing here? This is my room! Get back to... Wait. I don't know you. Who the hell are you? I'm Zoe. You're a friend of Vinny's or something? I told him not to let his girls wander around. Yes. Yes, I'm a friend of Vinny's. I I'm sorry, I didn't know anyone was using this room. Where the hell is he? Who? Vinny, who the fuck do you think I'm talking about? Oh, um, I don't know. Maybe he left. Jesus, if he did, I'll fire his fucking ass. He's no good to me. No good. Christ. Look, Vinny was going to help me out with some information about this guy, Reza Tamiz. Tamiz? Who the fuck's that? Another of Vinny's deadbeat friends? Should we really be sure in this instance? Something like that. Anyway, Vinny was going to help me out, but maybe you can help me instead. Why the fuck would I do that? Well, I was going to pay him, but if you're not interested... What? Uh, how much? Five hundred if you get me information about my friend. Another five hundred if you find him. One thousand wise, huh? Are you good for it? I've been burned by Vinny's friends before. Does it look like I'm good for it? I don't judge a fucking... by its... you know, the front, something like that. Shit! Yeah, fine. So what's this asshole's name? Reza Tamiz. He's about your height, black hair, tanned, probably well-dressed. Tamiz. Got it. I'll ask around, check the feeds, see if there's anything I can dig up. How do I get in touch with you? I'll be at the Fringe tonight. Yeah, right. No, really. Where do we meet? You should come back here around 10. I'll order a pizza, get a bottle of wine. Sold. I told you, the Fringe. Oh. Look, sweetheart, there's a two-year waiting list over there. And to get on that waiting list, you need to be either very famous or very rich. And, uh, you, sweetheart, no offense, are neither. No, but I've got connections. Trust me. I'll be at the Fringe, and I'll make sure your name is on the list. You're fucking kidding me, right? Right? The Fringe? The fucking Fringe? All right. Jesus, I'm there. Jesus Christ, if you'd have told me earlier, I'd have helped you for free. Fuck. Excellent. Damn. All right. So we got a deal. Come on. I'll let you out the front. DNA lock. Unbreakable shit. Yeah, this place is an impenetrable fortress. See you, Peter Van Droen. Is there anything else in here we need to grab then? Is it just the uh, the videograph? The lady's gone. What is that thing? They must be testing it on these people. That's probably what this place is for. It's not a hotel. I'll check around, see what I can find. Now tonight, the fringe. You're not trying to con me or anything. I'm very serious. This friend of mine, he means a lot to me. Whatever, as long as I'm on the list and you got the cash. Uh, uh, wait, what was your name again? Zoe, what's yours? Marcus. You don't have a last name? No, I'm like Madonna and Cher. No. Do you? <laughs> You're a player, Zoe. I'll give you that. Okay, Marcus. Thanks, I'll see you later. Sweet, we managed to get through that. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. I'm happy with myself. So, Marcus promised to meet me later tonight at the Fringe. Guess I'll just go there and wait for him. I need to speak with Charlie too. The only thing in that wardrobe is a picture of him and the two girls. Don't see how that has anything to do with Reza or the scary girl on the screen. That's all I have to go on. I don't have any new texts, so let's go. This way.
Oh, that's not stairs. Yes, we have our hoodie back on. I approve. Okay, so it's over this way, right? get through that lock that's back there. Okay, fringe. Yeah. Hi, it's Zoe Castillo again. May I come in? Of course. So let's talk to Charlie. You're not Charlie, but hello. Yeah. The place is kind of quiet, isn't it? Look, it's a cocktail lounge, not a cafe. Right now it's the middle of the afternoon. Things heat up around midnight and everyone stays until sun up. Right. That makes sense. Let's make some small talk. So, have you worked here long? What are you doing? What? Why are you asking me questions? Uh, no reason. Okay, so stop. It's annoying. Thanks. Uh -huh. Welcome back, Katie. So, at least, where's the Mary Poppins costume? I know, I'm sorry, Mace. I... I failed. I can sing supercalifragilistic for y'all. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. It's supercalifragilistic expialidocious. I'm the lily, I'm the lie, I'm the lily, I'm the lie. Um... <laughs> Mom is cash now, you're up late. Yeah, I'm actually kind of debating whether I want to stream for like another hour. Um, because I was gonna wrap up around 1 a.m. my time, but I don't know. Maybe. Otherwise I'd be wrapping up in ten minutes. <laughs> Muted bod now, Kappa. It's oh, a bonzo. I looked at a tree before. Alright, let's talk to Charlotte. Hey, you're back. Surprised? You look like you could take care of yourself, so no, not really. Did you find your friend Jericho? His name's Reza, and uh, no, not yet. But I have a lead. Good, I hope you find him. He seemed like a nice guy. Welcome back, Peter Taylor, and oh, I know Ken. Uh, we can go longer if you want to. I'll see how I feel in about 10 minutes, because I still feel like I have a lot of energy, energy to try and uh, continue streaming. Um... Okay, let's talk about the border house. How long ago did you say you lived at the border house? Ten years. Why? It must have changed a lot. It was a horrible place. There was one room that looked okay, but the rest of it, ooh, just horrible. Ten years is a long time, girl. The world can change completely in a decade. Um, okay, let's talk about Reza. You haven't heard from Reza again, have you? Sorry, girl. If he calls, I'll let you know. Thank you, Charlie. For what? Listen, feel free to hang out here for as long as you want. Maybe your friend will stop by again. Okay, can we show this picture? Could you tell me anything about this picture? That's you, isn't it? Jesus Christ, where did you find this? At the hotel, room 201. I found it in the closet, and I figured you'd know. I mean, that is you, right? Ten years and a lifetime ago. Yeah. I can't believe that Graf would still be in April's old room after all this time. April? April Ryan. The girl in the middle. 201. That was her room ten years ago. Did... Did you say April Ryan? How does he know her? Yeah. Why? That name sounds... Very familiar. You probably got her mixed up with someone else. No, I... April vanished back in 09, just days before the collapse. We spent a long time searching for her before we... Before I gave up. Emma, on the other hand, she never lost faith. She still thinks April's alive and out there somewhere. Emma's the other girl in the picture. Yeah. They were the two best friends I've ever had. But I haven't heard from Emma in years, and... April. 
Let's just say that I don't share Emma's faith in miracles. How did April disappear? Look, I'm not comfortable talking about this. It's private stuff. We'll be more diplomatic. I completely understand, Charlie. It must have been hard on you losing your best friend like that. I'm sort of going through the same thing myself, except... Except I still believe Rez is okay. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sure he's okay. From what I could tell, your friend's pretty smart and resourceful. Look, why are you so interested in April Ryan? This is gonna sound crazy. I can't even believe I'm telling you this, but... I've heard the name April Ryan recently. I've been seeing things. On screens. Back in Casablanca, at, at the hotel. Strange, creepy things. At first, I figured it had something to do with the static. That might still be the case. But I think there's more to it than that. There's this snowy landscape, a strange black house, a girl... Oh, I know it sounds completely insane, but the girl... She speaks to me. Directly to me. Through the screen. Find her. Save her. At first, that was all she said. And then... Find April Ryan. Find April. Save April. When I was inside that place, the hotel, I saw the girl again. She pointed the way to April's room, to the closet where I found the picture. Jesus. If you're right, if this isn't some kind of sick joke, I need to contact Emma. She still believes April was telling the truth. The truth? About what? Can you stick around, Zoe? I'm sure Emma will hop on the first vac tracks or scramjet out of Europolis, and she'll want to hear this from you. Sure. Once she gets here, we'll tell you the whole story. I promise. Charlie, the April Ryan I've heard of might not be your April. I don't want you to get your hopes up. April disappeared under some very strange circumstances, Zoe. If there's even a tiny chance that this has anything to do with her, we need to pursue it. Okay. I have to wait here for this guy to contact me anyway. Marcus. I met him at the hotel. Marcus? This is starting to sound like a damn family reunion. So he knows Marcus. Marcus was a friend of ours back in the old days. Until he got into Amethyn in a big way. Haven't seen him in years either. But I heard he got a job at the, uh, the hotel. Yeah. He's some kind of caretaker. And you're right. It's not a hotel. I saw something while I was there. They're testing some kind of device that hooks up to your head. I've seen it once before. It's probably what brought Reza to Newport. Anyway, Marcus said he'd help me find out what happened to Reza, for a price. I told him to meet me here later. I hope that's okay. No problem. This is the safest place in Newport. Nothing gets in or out without me knowing about it. I'll make sure his name's put on the guest list. I'm glad we took the diplomatic I'm gonna approach. go call Emma. And then I need to take care of some business, but you can just hang out here. I'll have the kitchen make you something to eat. Sweet. That would be nice. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since the train. You come to the right place. Our sashimi's the best in town. Find yourself a table and I'll have someone take your order. Thank you. Wait, Charlie? Yeah? You really think Rez is okay? He's an investigative reporter, isn't he? Jericho's famous. I'm sure he's been in worse scrapes. Don't worry, he'll be okay. Don't worry, Anbo. Or, no worries, Anbo, rather. Uh, enjoy your Minecrafting, and I hope the pain eases. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to quickly go on break, um, you know, grab some refreshments and stuff, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. So this is your time to grab refreshments and all that jazz, and uh, I'll be back. Let me switch to the bare back screen.
Oh, my music stopped. I'm back though. Hey. Yeah, I need better music to play during the break other than my uh, little theme song. So did I miss much in chat? I have unmuted my mic, haven't I? Yeah, that usually helps. Uh, yes, you should follow me in all the things. And stuff. Thanks, Mace. Right, so we're going for another ever. This is probably the longest I've streamed in a while, actually. Exciting stuff. I'm, I'm really getting into this game, I think. Um, but I know, I know. And it, that's why I'm determined, like, I want to keep playing it. So I'm going to keep streaming. But another ever, because I don't want to, like, tire myself out. I don't want to tire my mods out. Oh no, I hope your uh, PC is uh, not derping. I hope your PC, I hope your PC decides to stop derping. But welcome back, Rick. Good thing it happened on break. Miss, I'll lecture you about sleep and how important sleep is. Long stream is fun, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying the stream. Makes it exciting for me to want to keep streaming. 3 am here. Oh god, I'll feel bad for everyone. Is there still no sound? The game should be playing sound right now. What's happened there? Um. Hello game, are you picking up sounds? And that's everything. I know it's not much, and I know it may not even be your April, Ryan, but... It is. It has to be. I don't believe in coincidences, and this would be one enormous coincidence. Well, she could be trying to get in touch with us, Charlie. Maybe she needs our help. Maybe... Don't get your hopes up, Emma. We don't know anything yet. I'm sorry to ask, but... Charlie, you promised you'd tell me what happened to April. Yeah. Yeah, I did. She disappeared under some... Very strange circumstances. The day she vanished, corporates were after her. I still don't know why. They stormed the house and... Emma got shot. She almost didn't make it. As for April, she made it out. And that was the last we heard from her. But we know she got away. She was identified on security cameras uptown, and we found out later that she had boarded a shuttle to one of the orbiting stations. That's where the cookie crumb trail ends, however. Right after that, the collapse happened and everything changed. When things returned to normal, we were too busy putting our own lives back together. And by the time we started looking for her again... April was gone. Vanished. If it hadn't been for the things she'd told us, I would have simply believed that she was another victim of the collapse. What things? This is where it gets complicated. She spoke about another world, a sort of parallel magical dimension. We didn't believe... You didn't believe her, Charlie. I never doubted her. Fine. I didn't believe her. I'm still not sure I do, despite the things I saw during the collapse. Wait. April told you that she'd seen another dimension? Not seen. Been to. A place called Arcadia. There was this man. Arcadia. Cortez, a real weirdo. He told April that she had some kind of talent, power, to travel between worlds, and that she was needed. According to what April told us, there are two worlds. This one, and the other one. Arcadia. A world of magic. They exist in parallel, in balance with each other. So is Arcadia what I we saw I never had earlier? reason to doubt anything April said before, but even I was skeptical. So after I got out of the hospital, I started digging. And the things she told us... She's not the only one, Zoe. There are others who've traveled and seen Arcadia. It's real. Look, we don't know that. All we know is that some dangerous idiot put ideas into her head, and... I know, Charlie. Have some faith, okay? I know. I can feel it. <laughs> I've done a lot of research. When you have enough money, even the best-kept secrets are revealed to you. I'm sorry, Emma, but it does sound a bit... Crazy? Delusional? You don't think I've thought the same thing myself? How old were you when the collapse happened, Zoe? Nine? Ten? Ten. And do you remember anything about it? Not really. We were living in London at the time, and our subsection was shut down for several days. My dad, he wanted to protect me. I didn't see much. Most people don't remember, or they pretend to have forgotten. Those of us who saw it, you don't forget something like that. But there were things happening even before the collapse. Strange things, like... like dreams leaking through into the waking world. Looking back, 
everything I've seen, read, what people have told me, people who had no reason to lie to me, I know she was telling the truth, and I believe she's still there. That lady kind of looks Arcadia. like Britney Spears to me, okay. around the eyes. Okay, so let's say you're right. The messages I've been getting. You think that winter place is the parallel world April talked about? Arcadia? From what I know, it doesn't sound like Arcadia. But who knows? The question is, who is the little girl, and why is she trying to contact you? After all, you didn't know April Ryan. Her name meant nothing to you until today. Chance brought you here, and if you hadn't found the picture and showed it to Charlie, you would never have recognized April's name. It seems improbable, I know, but Reza is the link. The story he's working on must have something to do with all of this. It's the only explanation I can think of. Your friend, the journalist, you still don't know where he is? No. Nope. No, but with any luck, I might find out later tonight. Actually, Charlie, is there somewhere private where I can make a call? Maybe Reza's tried to contact me. I'm going to try his mobile again and check in with my friend Olivia back in Casablanca in case she's heard from him. Sure. You can use one of the private lounges upstairs. The last one on your left is empty. Thanks. I'll be right back. Sweet. I have so many questions, okay. Um, what does the cat from earlier have to do with all this? Right? <laughs> uh, who is this little girl? Why us? And then at the very start we were in a coma, right? Um, so how did that happen? Because this is like a week earlier. So, okay, we started off, se okay, we started off in a coma and then seven days prior. And then it's been, what, one or two days since then. So we have, what, five days until we get into a coma? Five or six? Depending on how long the train journey was. The cat is Reza. The cat is Catalyst. What are your plans with Life is Strange Episode 5? I will be recording it um, as soon as I can and getting up to the channel as soon as I can. Um, hopefully I'm not going to be busy around the time it comes out. But yeah. Zoe sure gets around. She's been to London, Casablanca, Cape Town, her dad's on Bombay. I know, right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tweet out this stream again. Um, just in case people are still wondering if I'm still streaming. <coughs> Games are a second best for helping with my pain. I notice it a lot less. It can be very good for that. Um, still streaming. Dreamfall. What's this game called? Dreamfall. Longest journey, right? What do I need to check my moobot? I need to check my moobot. It is. Um, on twitch.tv forward slash miscashnell. I'm drinking too much, so. A bit of a longer stream. Question mark, smiley face. Okay. Uh, get that back up. Right. So we want to make a phone call. Busy. Wait, where am I going? How do I get out of here? <laughs> where am I going? Okay. That's an awkward layout. Can we speak to people in here? That thing must have cost her 25000 Easily. Hi. Wow. You've got a toned ass. Where did you have it molded? Same place Kim Kardashian got hers. Ah, uh, games can be great for distracting. Chatting with a great chat with a good streamer. Chatting in a great chat with a good streamer can also help distract. That's true. It's definitely helped me. I hope I can offer that for people. A nice, you know, distraction. Most of the people who come in here are so dull. Rich, powerful, beautiful, dull. Hey, beautiful. Wanna ride on my rocket? I'll take you to heaven and back in one night. No. 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 Let's go upstairs. Right, um... Hey, Arwick. Right, we can make a phone call in here then. It's quite a nice little area. Oh, wow, I went through my face. Can I do it again? How do I go through my face? Oh, can't. Well, I tried.
Hi, this is Reza. I'm either busy or I'm sleeping. Either way, let me know what's up and I'll call you right back. Thanks. Hi, it's me again. I'm in... I met Charlie and I followed your tracks to the hotel. I found your lighter and there was blood everywhere. I hope everything's okay, Reza. Please call me if you... when you get this message. I'm not about to give up on you, but I need to know that you're not... I need to know that you're okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, you got yourself a VIP booth? Marcus, I was just about to... Convenient, because I brought some friends along, and they'd love to say hello. In private. No, you... Thank you for the uh, £5 tip, Rudy95. Let me quickly get the comment up. Awesome stream. Thank you. Uh, this is Arabic. Oh, what are they going to do to my... No, you don't you dare touch my face. Right. Hmm... Winter is coming. Flower time. Stop. Flower time. Da na 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 na. Can't touch us. Na 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 na. Okay. This is simply creepy. Where? Where am I? It doesn't feel like a dream. I should be freezing, but I don't feel cold at all. Actually. I don't feel anything. This all looks so familiar. Is this not what we've been seeing in the, the TV? Visions. This is the place from my visions. Find April. Save April. Okay. Guessing I'm going in this weird house then. Trying. Uh, Get me more clues. Please. What do you want with me? Find April Ryan. Hurry, Zoe. Hurry. But what do you must hurry? Go now. Oh. Bye then. It's a TARDIS in 50 years, it's bigger on the inside. Let's try. Well, we don't have a flower in my face. I'm making the, assum the same assumption as Mace. Um, she, I mean, the girl, Zoe stays in a warm climate and it's just what she sleeps in. Oh my god, you sounded just like her. <laughs> I where forget how the I just whispered. Am I? Wait, where the fuck am I? Mm. I like my new outfit. Oh, hello there. Find April Ryan. Oh well, I'll find her. Okay. This is not real. This cannot be real. Okay, so we have like what little crystal things? What's this? Pebble. Wait. Okay, so we don't have our phone now. We have our dialogue, we don't have texts. Where am I? What is this place? I must be dreaming. This can't be real. I just can't. I need to get out of here. I need to get home. I don't. I, yeah, I like her coat. I appreciate a good coat. So can we pick up a lot of pebbles? What can I do with the pebbles? Can I make one giant stone? Ah! No! You have a stick! You! 
Oh, you don't hit a girl with a stick. That's just rude. There we go. No! Ho oh, ho! You don't. You have a pebble, you're fine now. Lost phone, use rock and send. I know, right? I need a, a coat like this. It just wanted a hug, then you punched it. I don't think that wanted a hug. I would have hugged it if it did. But I'm pretty sure it wanted to, to, to not hug me. How do I go up here? Claim. So what can I do with my, my pebbles? Can't combine them to make one big mighty pebble. Oh. Hello. Hey. Oh, this janky combat system. I'm not a fan. But I'm getting better at it, I guess. Saving game. Okay. Is there any more pebbles? Can't get across there. Either for a puzzle or currency. Okay. Wait, go back over here. They'll definitely have some use, at least. It's turned out to be this OP ranged weapon, I know, right? Nothing in there. Let's go up the stairs. And we have a wheel we can turn. I would guess that wheel is used to control the machine. That didn't work. Can I use my pebble in it? No. It feels good in my hand. I could probably toss this quite far. So I can toss my pebbles, okay. It's broken. There's no way to climb up there. They could have been used to distract the trolls. Aww. Here I thought the pebbles would solve all of my problems. Um. <laughs> a pebble and a wheel is all clear now. Um. Right. Can I get anything from there, can I? That'll help fix this wheel. Can I jam the wheel? No, because I couldn't use the pebbles. Um. Can I, like, take the stick? I want a stick. I don't think I missed anything back there. There was nothing down this area, right? Wait, wait, wait. I have a glowing egg! How did I manage to completely walk by a glowing egg? I have no idea, but I have a glowing egg! So can I swim? How do I get down there? Was there a boat near the wheel? Yeah, there's this. And I was thinking maybe I could take that, but... I don't know. The real question is how you're supposed to figure out you could grab said glowing egg. I thought it was just like a torch. I didn't realise it was a glowing egg. Feed it to Squishy! <gasps> Squishy! Um... 
My glowing egg does not help me there. Can I like reconnect this bridge? Mm. Can I get in the water from down here? No. Well, yeah, but no. Not in the way I want. We're not harming my glowing egg. I love my glowing egg. It's my friend now. The glowing dragon will come back for its glowing egg. And suddenly dinner. Oh! If I'm not mistaken, the water wheel is connected to more gears. It could be what powered the city back when it was inhabited. Okay. There's a wooden platform up there. It's just how I got up there. There must be a way to get to the top of the water wheel. Looks like it's the only way out of here. Well. Welcome back, Josh Carroll. Can I use my glowing egg? Can I combine it with a pebble? <laughs> Mace told me that there's no use for the pebbles, but I'm still determined. Maybe I can use my glowing egg now. Come on, you can... You can do it. I believe. Um... It's broken. There's no way to climb up there. So there has to be a way up there. There has to be something I can use to make a way up there. And now you get attacked by an ancient red dragon. Roll initiative. I swear, I my mind is all D&D lately. Which is excellent, because it shows that I really got into uh, doing D&D. Maybe I did miss something over at the other side. I feel like I'm missing something here. There's no way to get into it. So, no, down. Maybe my glowing pebble, my glowing egg will reveal things, not my glowing pebble. <laughs> I got really attached to the idea of these pebbles. <laughs> Okay, no. Nothing back here. Right. One day, I might D&D. Oh, Mace, do you remember the days where where I would make D&D jokes and and say that the day I, I would never play D&D and then all of a sudden I'm playing D&D every week on stream? <laughs> that was one way to get over the fear. Uh, right, I feel like there's something with this boat I'm missing. <laughs> Mace. If I'm not mistaken, uh -huh. um, the okay. water wheel is connected to that. more gears. It could be what powered the city back when it was inhabited. Hmm. We are, we're having a later stream crazy. While I try to work out what the heck I'm doing. Because apparently I can't climb this ladder. And I can't use this either. And I have no idea what to do with my glowing egg. stairs. There was an article I once read from a therapist. A client of theirs used D&D to help deal with her schizophrenia. 
I'm able to function in social settings and stuff. That's actually a super interesting article. I'll need to look that up. The role playing aspect for me really plays into uh, some of the stuff that interested me, particularly when I was a teenager. Um, because acting actually was always a passion of mine. Uh, see you, Rudy. Um, acting of mine was always a passion of mine as a kid, and I used to be like really good at improv. Um, I mean, I still love acting, so this is like sort of a way of me, you know, oh, 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 of uh, me channeling that at least. Finally, I get to use my glowing egg. Remember the sound, Mace. I've already forgot it. <laughs> oh, it's somewhere in the memory bank. So I still can't it's go up broken. here. Open. Has no way to climb um, up there. Can I jump on here? <laughs> Easy. Do do do. Da 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 da. Thanks, chat. <laughs> okay, the bank's overdrawn. It's true. Boom. I am Lara Croft, dang it. The memory bank or the piggy bank? I only steal piggy banks from our uh, dead children. It's fine. My god, this is a long ladder. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Rizio. She's just getting on with life, Rick. There's no point in her wallowing. She's got shit to do. Is that another pebble? Aww. I was hoping it was another pebble. Should I have grabbed that egg again? No, because it activated the wheel. Um, it's just dark up here. Maybe I'm missing something. Only way the glowing pebbles. <laughs> Maybe I should have grabbed the egg. It doesn't look as if there was a way to go. Um, I'm gonna guess going into the uh, the current is not a good idea. But over there, can I get over there somehow? I'm not sure where it would take me right now. Hmm. Can't jump in any of these little veins, can I? Climb up them? That'd be nice. Hmm. 
Right, so we climbed up here, but what good does that do us? That's just going to take us a long way back down, that's no use. Or is it? One second. You saw one of the routes going across the water? Uh, let's go back. A cave to the right? Um, doesn't look like it. It looks like there might be a... It doesn't actually look as if there's a cave in there. The egg was a good thought. Okay. Yeah, I missed it because I have a... My chat sort of like minimised almost here. But... Like, then the mobile merch thing happened, so I missed what May said. Okay, down here. God damn it, egg. Down, down, down I go. Alright. Is it down again? Where do I go down? Can I jump from here? Nice, okay, let me grab me egg. No. I'm sending me egg. I know I should be able to slide. How dare I not be able to? Right, and then back up this way. Damn. Honestly, all those days at the gym has worked out for this girl with that upper body strength. I'm impressed. This is egging me on right now. <laughs> it's real. Excellent work. That all with an egg in her hand, I know, right? Okay, back in the cave with me egg. Maybe there's a place to put it. I can hear like mice or rats scurrying about. Oh, okay. So we have uh Those glowing symbols look like they're etched right into the rock. Can I touch him? Is there a particular order I have to touch him? The the I think each of these symbols play a musical note. Fuck, I don't remember how it went. Alright, process of elimination. We might be here a while. Never mind. I may have done it. <laughs> did I do it? I don't think I did it, but I like the thought that I could have. Maybe I'm supposed to play a sequence of notes. Like a melody. But what melody? Um, if it were just the three, I would have just process of elimination it, but then now it's four, I'm like, okay, now I might be here longer than I thought. We might be here a while. I'll, d I'll do it another couple more times. If I can't work it out, um, I'll ask Mace for the answer.
eight one possible combinations. Uh. Mace, I need your help. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be definitely here all day. Left, middle, left, right. Left. Middle. Left. Right. Yeah, that's quite a bullshit puzzle. <laughs> um, for sure. Thank you. Du, 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 du. <laughs> the trolls were humming the same melody, but you went and killed them. Look, I'm a mod. I have to deal with trolls. I can't help it. A wooden wheel. What is this place? I must be dreaming. A wooden hmm. wheel. What is this place? I must be dreaming. It's locked from the outside. Then we have to get to the outside. But how do we do that? What else have we got in here? A wooden wheel, but we can't do anything with it. Where'd my egg go? I did not bring my egg with me. Where'd my pebbles go? And I, I wasn't done with them yet. Hmm. That's a wall. I don't need a wall. The tunnel just vanished. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was magic. It's a decent place to stop, by the way, if you're getting tired. A wooden wheel. Um. What is this place? I must be dreaming. Yeah, I am sort of like yawning and stuff. I I want to keep going, <laughs> but I don't want to overdo it. Yeah. Another 20 minutes. I'm just all like yawning and stuff. I tend to do that. <laughs> um, how the heck do I get out of here? I know, I'd feel bad if I end it now because I promised like another hour. It's just a good place story wise. Hmm. I'm debating. Oh, surely I should be able to get through there. Right? I can just reach through. That's how it works. <sighs> yeah, I'm yawning. Okay. I think Mace is right. I think I should call it a night here because this is a good place for a story and I am tired. And um, I've just minimised the game and I noticed that Katie Cat gifted me the game Contradiction. So thanks so much Katie Cat if you're still here. I'll add that to my library. I appreciate it very much. Um, but yeah, I shall uh, switch to the wrapping up screen. Uh, so thank you all so much for coming by. Be sure to follow me here on twitch.tv forward slash Miss Carsnell to get notifications for when I'm next going live. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Unite Atterit, I believe it is. Um, Subscribe to me on youtube.com forward slash Miss Carsnell. I am currently doing Let's Plays of Soma and Mass Effect. Uh, you can follow me on twitter.com forward slash Miss Carsnell. I like to think I tweet interesting things. Um, it's your best place to reach me. There's facebook.com forward slash Miss Carsnell, which you can like me on as well. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the stream and I'll see you all around next time.